Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tuco with Music ID TV, your home for B2B music news. So this past week, while Rodney Jerkins, the super producer, you may know him from Hits Like The Boy Is Mine, featuring Brandy and Monica. Rodney Jerkins has had an amazing career. He's been in the industry for about 23 years. He was on a panel in Los Angeles. He chose to share how a songwriter from Norway came to America and worked with him on a Justin Bieber record and how that songwriter basically was trying to experience the American dream, got a hit with Justin Bieber, Rodney goes on to show what the royalties were from that songwriter's hit with Justin Bieber. Having owned 20% of the song, Rodney goes on to break down that the songwriter only got 149,000. This is three years later. So the Justin Bieber song is called As Long As You Love Me. It was released in 2010. By 2013, it was a big hit for Justin Bieber. Andre Linda, who is the songwriter Rodney Jerkins is referring to, owned 20% of the song. He went on to make $149,000 from the song three years later, with the song being a great big hit. From radio, he made about $53,000. He also made about $700 from Sirius XM. Then Rodney goes on to share how much he made from Pandora and YouTube and you may be able to guess it was significantly less than what he made from Sirius XM and normal radio broadcasting. So he said from 34 million streams of Justin Bieber's song As Long As You Love Me on Pandora, Andre only got $278 and from YouTube with 34 million plus streams as well, Andre only got 218 bucks. Clearly when we get to Pandora and YouTube, it's kind of an issue with the performance because the performance was significantly higher than any other platform. 34 million on Pandora, 34 million on YouTube. I'm just saying, that's like 68 million, that's almost 70 million plays, which he collectively made about 500 bucks from. 70 million, about 500 bucks. But this is an issue that's been going on for a while with these streaming services. The way they cut deals with publishing companies, they have been already cut out because of the previous deals that they had to cut with record labels to license the sound recordings of the song. Publishers and songwriters deal with the underlying lyrics and music of songs rather than the actual sound recording. Those are generally owned by the record label and that's what you generally listen to, that actual master recording. And so it makes sense how streaming services had to actually secure deals with labels because if you secure it with publishers you may only be able to upload covers because you only have rights to the lyrics and the music but you don't have rights to that actual song. I can get the priorities when it comes to the streaming services but one thing that they need to really consider is the fact that without a significant way to take care of yourself songwriters who are creating these songs won't be able to keep doing it unfortunately. So we might want to look more into paying songwriters a lot more in the streaming world. It's really my mind-boggling to see how songwriters are really being cut out of this and I don't think the industry can sustain in this way and Roddy goes on to say that he's concerned about future generations and songwriters because he's been so blessed with the work that he's done in the past 23 years when the industry had a completely different model and he's afraid of what could happen in the future that's one of the reasons why I started Music ID TV because of the next generation who is trying to get into the music industry and so much is changing and I would hate to see anyone not understand a enough to be able to follow their passion that's gonna be haunting them for forever and ever. Music is like, once you get that bug, kinda don't go away. But anyway, let us know what you think in the comment section below. What do you believe will occur? If streaming services do not begin to cut better deals with publishers and songwriters, do you think that the industry will be able to sustain itself otherwise? Because I mean, I'm just saying, without the songwriter, there's no song. Just something to think about. But anyway, be sure to share with a friend, like, and subscribe for more videos. Don't be afraid to turn on the notification button so you can stay informed. We'll be posting at least four news videos per week. Once again, my name is Tuco with Music ID TV, your home for BDB Music News.